Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another NBA 2K18 My Career Game. Denny Tice is in the starting lineup for the first time in his career and in our first career game starting, we are going to be going against Isaiah Thomas and the Cleveland Cavaliers. As it's been before, Denny Tice is getting trial by fire. They don't ease me into the lineup and put me against the Phoenix Suns or the Brooklyn Nets. We play our first career game against Russell Westbrook. Our first career start is against LeBron James and company. This time, we are in New York. We played earlier this season, it was in Cleveland, and our Knicks actually got the victory. It wasn't really because of me, I just ended up on the bench and when we came back out, we were up by 20. This time, it's for real though. This time, we're gonna have more of an impact. We're getting about 25 minutes in this game, though it is nine minute quarter, so it's gonna be a little bit less than that. We'll just have to wait and see what we get. Right now, we're getting a wide open jumper. Isaiah trying to protect the paint. We make him pay by pulling up and knocking that shot down. Our jumpers a little bit consistent but I mean when it's wide open like that you gotta at least take it as LeBron getting a couple of friendly bounces on that post fade Isaiah closing out this time and we're just gonna take it all the way finding poor Zingas and the unicorn gets the and one Playing in the starting lineup means playing a lot more with Kristaps Porzingis and Carmelo Anthony. I'm really excited about that because coming off the bench, I had to play a lot with Joakim Noah and Kylo Quinn to get around the court. Not just one of those two. I had Joakim Noah playing power forward or Willie Hernan Gomez playing power forward and that just killed four spacing. So being able to play with Porzingis and whoever else they throw at the center spot. That's a blessing as Derrick Rose comes in the game and Derrick Rose turns the ball over. Denny Tice getting the steal. Denny Tice surveying options. Gonna force it inside and Kevin Love gets the block. You see this lineup we have right now where Hernan Gomez and No on the court together as I go to the bench while trying to make that statement. But yeah, that lineup was a lineup I was working with a lot and it was really tough to try to make something happen as we just bully Isaiah Thomas. That wasn't really the best shot, but... Since it was Isaiah Thomas, I figured, hey, why not? Let's just see what happens. Thankfully, we were able to make it once again, taking Isaiah to the cup and just forcing it over him. Over many point guards, or pretty much any other point guard, you can't get that shot to go. But Isaiah Thomas is like the only point guard in this league that I am actually taller than. My guy's 5'11", as poor Zingas. Look at poor Zingas being a bully inside that paint. For a power forward... He definitely crashes that glass just because of his 7-3 height as LeBron James isoing against Melo again and getting the post fade again. But that will not be an and one. That will be a loose ball foul on Tristan Thompson over the back on Porzingis. We go at Isaiah again. Get that bucket to go. But we do find ourselves down early on in this game. IT. That's not IT4 though because he changed his number. This man literally came into Cleveland and took Kyrie Irving's number right away. You'd think there would be a little bit of a grace period before someone took the number two after what Kyrie has done for that franchise since he got drafted, but nah, that's not the way it goes as Porzingis. He's got to post up against, oh, what is that, Tristan Thompson or LeBron? It looks like it might be Tristan Thompson. Oh, no, it is LeBron right there. So I tried to give him the ball. We moved it around very nicely, and eventually Porzingis leaving the paint left the paint wide open for myself as we take this pull up. Then once again, had defender backtracking, protecting the paint. We just do what they don't. When they zig, we zag. And that's just the experience that we're getting from playing more and more NBA games. Isaiah Thomas, lefty, gets the and one to go. As Denny Tice once again sees an open paint and just takes it all the way. Derrick Rose stood no chance. I mentioned it last time we went against the Knicks. I lose my chops when I go against these guys, all right? Because as great as this Cavaliers team is, I know I can blow by these, these guys and get mine. And even if Kevin Love's in the paint, he's not really the best shot blocker. Even Tristan Thompson's not the best shot blocker out there. And when he commits like that, that just leaves Kyle Quinn open. And I'm okay with taking that assist. Right now, 16-4-4. Four four, start of the second half. We're filling out that stat sheet. We're looking for teammates and looking for ourselves. That was a tough finish right there. And... Unfortunately, despite all that we're doing, we still have been around this 12 to 9 point deficit throughout the entire game. Now it's actually at 13 as we blow by IT. No matter how many times we blow by Isaiah Thomas, it doesn't really matter. We have, what, pretty much half of our team's points right now, but we still find ourselves down. So what is it going to take to come back against the Cavaliers? I really don't know. I don't know if our next team is really equipped to do that. But at the same time, you know, if we lose this game against the Cavaliers, it's not really the end of the world because they are the Cleveland Cavaliers. They're not exactly our target right now. Our target is just... To make the playoffs, get, you know, somewhere between a 1 and a 4 seed, I think is realistic. If you guys saw our record, we're already 7 and 5. Once I'm in this starting lineup, I feel like we could win more games. And, you know, our lineup in the Knicks, our starting 5 is... 
pretty good it's for NBA 2K, not really real life, but for NBA 2K terms, you know, we got three-point shooters around myself. We got Hernan Gomez, so I feel like he's, you know, he's pretty good in 2K. He finishes around the rim very well. He gets the offensive rebound and put back as we speak. He's got a good jumper, so I like our team. I like our fit of teams, and then the guys coming off the bench, we got... Courtney Lee, we got the Shammy Wells dude, both three-point shooters, Frank the Tank, Frank LaTank, or whatever you want to call him, he's alright, so, I'm, I'm feeling our team right now, I'm feeling our team, it, like, last year, we were on the Kings for, like, the 10 videos of my career I put up, and I didn't really like that team so much, that team was just a disaster, they didn't really have much fits on the offensive side besides Boogie, this team, I like the fit, and we're keeping up with the Cavaliers right now, they're scoring a lot of points, and we are trying to, you know, just miss, mix and match with them, try to give them whatever they can't handle, and right now, they can cannot handle Christos Porzingis as LeBron James against Tim Hardaway Jr. We cannot let that happen. Tim Hardaway Jr. can't guard LeBron as Derrick Rose is going to get the steal. Double teaming Tyson Rose with a rare dunk the lead up to 11. That's a bad shot. Christos well defended. No foul on the play. And now Porzingis out on the other end. We're looking to give it to him. Pull up jumper. And that's just Kristaps, man. Kristaps is easily my favorite teammate. This dude can do anything. He's 7'3", taking pull-up jumpers. Are we kidding? Are we kidding? Fortunately, LeBron James with the dirty ball fake right there gets defenders pump faked as, oh, Kyle Quinn easy lane to the rim. I don't know what Tristan Thompson was trying to do right there. We take advantage, trying to run a little pick and roll. Just going to blow by Rose. LeBron a little bit too late to help. Tice gets the bucket under 330 left in the game. Oh, Carmelo has his hands full. LeBron, we're trying to guard D. Rose. Kylo Quinn sends that into the scorer's stands. What? An emphatic rejection. And then Isaiah Thomas off the inbounds, subbing in for Rose. Starts off with a backcourt violation. Then he gets blown by. But the help defense is there this time to stop Denny Tice. Those drives are starting to be taken away by the help defense. As IT loses the ball and gets it back and puts it in over Hardaway Jr. As LeBron James giving it to IT with Porzingis on him. This is a mismatch. Smallest guy in the court versus biggest guy in the court. And this is another mismatch. LeBron versus Tice. I don't know what LeBron was trying to show off or what. That post fade was working for all, all game long. But we were able to lock it up. And on the other end, we find Kylo Quinn. It's a seven-point game. This game is not over yet. We are at home in MSG feeling like we have a chance. And what a block by Denny Tice. The rookie trying to just energize his team right now. Make them believe they can beat the Cavaliers and Kylo Quinn's jumper. That's truly giving me a belief that we can win right now. I'm feeling like we can make the comeback if we can get one stop. And Melo can lock up LeBron. But that post fade works one more time. And that might have been the dagger in the game. Tice though drawing the foul. Not giving up. Going to the free throw line. Making both of them back to a five point game. And Denny Tice gets the turnover on Isaiah Thomas. We need a bucket right here. Porzingis with the ball. Porzingis heavily guarded. Tice. Got it from downtown. Two-point game with 33 seconds left. The Cavaliers starting to sweat a little bit. They need one more bucket to escape MSG with the victory. But that's not going to be it. We're running with the ball. 13 seconds left. Down by two. Dice driving. Dice kicking. Mello jab steps. He doesn't want this shot. We got five seconds left. Dice driving. And one. And one. One! This upcoming free throw could give the Knicks the lead with just three seconds left. The rookie putting the team on his back. Melo did not want the big shot. I drew two, and I kicked it to Melo in the corner. And I said, give us the lead. And Melo said, no. Like, come on, Melo. So I had to do it myself. <laughs> That's what it was up to, as the free throw is good, no doubt about it. Denny Tice gives the Knicks a one-point lead, but with 3.1 seconds left, that is more than enough time for LeBron James to get a game winner. Will they go to LBJ or Isaiah Thomas or Kevin Love? Inbound play, got to get it in. It's Corver kicking. Love is off. The Knicks hang on and win, stealing the victory from the Cavaliers. The MSG crowd is in the frenzy cheering their new star potentially in Denny Tice the baton might have just been handed over from Carmelo Anthony to Denny Tice and Christos Porzingis those two are definitely the future of the New York Knicks I don't think there's much doubt about it when Melo did that jab step 
who basically just handed the baton to me and Porzingis. This is our franchise now. This is our time to take over. This is our time to lead New York City to great things. I don't want to say a championship. I don't want to just say that out loud, but great things. Leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more NBA 2K18 mock career games. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed that game winner by Denny Tice. How about that? And I'll catch you guys next time. I'm going to leave you guys with this actual press conference. A little bit of a high blood pressure ending there. Yeah, just a bit. Just a bit, but we got a hold of it, though. Have you noticed a difference in this team's poise coming down the stretch? Yeah, you know, we were just showing a lot of confidence in each other, uh, a lot of trust in our sets, and that really allowed us to come through in the clutch. I mean, especially when a majority of the game was not going our way. How'd you feel you played tonight? Well, I mean, we got the W, which is good. Uh, we played some great team ball. I talked to Coach about things I need to personally work on, but, you know, a win's a win. You mentioned before the tough competition motivates you. Where does that come from? Do you guys believe me if I said it was Mountain Dew? Not, you guys are laughing, but I'm serious. I mean, back when we were kids, we would run games, and the losers would have to buy winners ice-cold Mountain Dew. So, yeah, obviously I wanted to win, but, you know, knowing that there was a free Dew at the end really helped. Good work today, DJ. Thanks, Anna. See you tomorrow. All right.